nice and soft. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, stop for one second. Ultimately, we are going to get in groups on the tables to try to invent, because we all have a streak in our brain. We are all inventors. Okay? So welcome to the Science Center. This is the time now where we know the Kaibana season is going on. And I would like to speak a bit about the steel pan from the early days of steel pan all the way through to today's steel pan, the e-pan. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll tell you a bit quickly about how the steel pan came about. Excellent, I'll give you a, a brief steel pan went all the way back from Tambu Bamboo. I'll start talking about the Tambu Bamboo for you. Tambu Bamboo. When the skin drum, I'll show everybody, when the skin drum were banned back in 1864, they started using for rhythms, they started using tambu bamboo in Trinidad to make some kind of rhythm in order to sing along their little lullabies. For example, I'll give you a quick example of some tambu bamboo playing here. This is tambu bamboo. Lai lai. La la le la 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 le la 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 and they used to go around the streets singing their little tunes, whatever it will be, using tambu bamboo. You can use this as a rhythm for anything. Oh ka ne da. Now, how does tambu bamboo get to steel pan? Let's see. While they're beating the tambu bamboo, biscuit drum covers and whatever oil drums back in Trinidad and Tobago, the main source of revenue for Trinidad and Tobago is sugar cane and oil. So of course, so of course to transport oil, they use these 45 barrel drums here. But before you have the sugar cane, you burn the sugar cane to get rid of the centipedes, scorpions, and all the deadly insects while they're cutting the sugar cane. So the drums used to get burnt in that process. They used drums back then as well to store, you know, water, food stuff, etc. So while they're on the street and they're reveling whenever they have time to party, they will use those little biscuit drum covers. And because they're all inventors, like you guys here are all inventors. You guys are all innovators. If you think of an idea and you want to improve it, you just have to continue going around thinking of how to improve it. Like, I'm the inventor of the world's first electronic steel pan, but as a kid growing up, I wanted to improve the steel pan. So I came up with the e-pan. Here in front of you is the e-pan. So I'm going to try to demonstrate for you from tambu bamboo all the way through to e-pan. Now, while they're beating their tambu bamboo, what happened is that they were getting some, they, they put on the, on the neck some biscuit drum covers and somebody, what's your name? Gabe was getting bing, 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 bing out of his drum while he was beating Tambu Bamboo. What is your name, son? Christoph. Christoph was getting bang, 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 bang out of his. And what is your name? You shy? You don't, know, you don't want to tell me your name? It's okay. But she was getting bing, 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 something really nice and high. So then they remembered that they used to burn the steel pan used to get burnt in order to get all those songs. As you can see here, when you're making a steel pan, this drum here, if you look at it, you'll see it kind of blue. That's because fire was, it was burnt for 20 minutes at 600 degrees. But they didn't know, you know, what, how much degrees you're burning it at. They just knew it turned blue. When it turned blue, that gave them the sense that, guess what? It's ready for tuning. So the first thing the tuner does is he sinks a regular drum like this. And he sinks it seven or eight inches with a hammer. Then he smoothens it out a little bit. After it's smooth, he put grooves in it to separate the notes. That's this, this one here that's burnt. 
Then he fine tunes it to get all the different songs out of it. So this one here is not fine tuned. As I pass my stick all around it, you can get a chance to do it as well. But this one here is more fine tuned. So you can get full octaves going right away around. Okay? So, the first steel pan that was invented, the first steel pan was two notes. Who could tell me the name of it? All right, call it dudup. Why? Because back then it made a song du and dup. So you call it a dudup. Again, with the tambu bamboo, you can sing a song. La la la. La 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 Right? So you use it as rhythm. And then they got three notes. Then they got four notes. And they call it a ping pong. Why they call it a ping pong? Because the notes that was coming out of it was ping pong. Ping pong, ping ding pong. Bang, ping pong, ping ding pong. So they call it a ping pong. All right? As time progressed and everything else, they call it a tenor pan. And it's all divided in sections. All right? Growing up like yourself again, I'm like, I can make this improve. Improve the sound. Get the sound coming out better. Now, a little bit of science behind the bass drum, the column of air is what gives us that nice boom, boom, boom song. Right, so that column up here is very important there. All right, in that drum there to give you that song. I would like all of you to keep thinking of how you can build an instrument for us here today. We are all going to go behind and we're going to think of an instrument in our mind or something like along those lines that can give us some nice songs. At the end of 15 minutes, we're going to have a demonstration of each team's instrument. You have to, while you're building it, you have to think of a name for that instrument. All right, and then after that, we'll have we'll play them all together. You can make a wind instrument. You could make a percussion instrument. You could make a stringed instrument. It's your choice. You can make something that you hammer. And so, teams, pick tables. The families already have their tables, so you're going to be working at your tables. 